he got first place at both of our tournaments today using Paleo Frog. Yeah, so this is the build I'm planning on going into in the next competitive event I compete in, whether it's an OTS championship or it's a uh, regional. I'm planning on using this. Uh, I think it's the best build I've had in a long time. Worked very well. Uh, beat out some pretty competent decks today. And yeah, I'd just love to get right into it. Uh, we'll start with the main. We're playing uh, mandatory three star frog. Uh, fun fact: if you don't play the ulti, you'll lose. So yeah, just make sure you drop like three hundred dollars on these. <laughs> just joking. Uh, three do. Uh, like the best one is special off. Uh, totally awesome in the standby phase, and just like more fodder. You need at least six names to do your combos and stuff. Uh, two Ronin, and that's gonna be it for the monsters. I don't feel the need to run Lilith or uh, any of the various statues or anything like that just because you're you open enough traps already you don't need any more. So we'll go to the spells. We're playing uh, Triple Desires. Uh, sorry, this is not German. I'm working on it. Um, one Demise because it's the Saki one of that if you draw it, it's real good. And one Scapegoat because, again, another Saki one of that if you draw it, it's real good. Um, this can just like win you games outright. Both, all these are just good draw cards. I never ended up having bad vanishes off Desires today. I actually, actually resolved two Desires in one game and still just ended up OTKing them, so it was like really nice. Uh, and then for the most important part of the deck, there's uh, Traps, where we play three Olenoids, the MST, three Dino Miscus, the Karma Cut, which is just incredible, this format. Uh, Three Canadia because Sky Striker is no longer a thing, and I don't know why you would play any less of this now. Uh, we've got two Heavy Storm. I don't feel the need to play three in the main. I've got the third one on the side. It's pretty good where it's at. Uh, we've got two Compulse because it's just generically a, uh, a good removal option. I know the Trap Trick target, and that's actually all the Trap Trick targets I'm playing. Um, we got three anti spell in the main. This is my choice of like power trap. So this deck has a lot of one for one trades in it, and you always need like that one power trap to just lean back on to know that you will reassure yourself you're gonna survive that turn. Whether it's judgment, anti spell, uh, trap trick can just grab you anything. Those are three cards that are just amazing in this deck. Um, this is just amazing. This format hurts spiral, hurts salamangrate, hurts pendulum, hurts most of the top decks right now, and. Um, Especially is really good in like control mirror matches because all the guys plays what like nine, ten, eleven spells. Uh, Guru plays like <laughs> fifteen spells. This card's just good right now. Uh, you can always just trap trick and industrious at the end phase too and pop their back row. Also preemptively activating this to stop lightning storm and twisters before they unless they open the twisters, which it feels bad moment, but like oh well. This is just a good all around good card this format and I like it. Um, Running three impermanence as our only hand trap in the main. Generically, I feel like this is just the best hand trap in the game right now because uh, it can't be called by the grave. You can use it as a regular trap and like bait column activations and stuff. Just real good. Uh, can flat out stop some people's turns by just impermanencing the right thing. Uh, as I said, the probably the best trap card in the deck is Trap Trick. Just being able to fetch any of the cards I just showed you besides the anti spells. Um, this card's insane. Grabs your pieces, grabs your paleos, gives you stuff to work with. I like it quite a bit. Uh, we got <laughs> triple evenly in the main. Uh, so for a long time, I was obligated. Like I felt, I did not feel the need to play these. Um, now coming to this new format, I'm so pleased with this in the main. Um, I can honestly tell blind second decks to go first, and I will comfortably be able to play going second. I'm comfortable going second. Not comfortable is a pretty strong word to use. I feel like I can actually do stuff going second with this in the main. It's also trap trickable, so if you save a trap trick during your opponent's turn, bait their negations, end of their battle phase, you can trap trick in this, and then just blow up their board. All around great card. Uh, really enjoyed it in the main. Uh, we got two judgments in the main, third one's inside. Uh, I like it. Not sure if I will bump this to three in the main, but I think two in the main today was just fine. Uh, never let an evenly resolve today. I got lightning storm once, so uh, that worked. And then, just for more spell hate, because this feels like a pretty spell heavy format, uh, I'm playing the one order. Um, I don't think I'll ever cut this. We're only playing five spells, and it doesn't really matter if they resolve or not. We're still going to win because of our traps. Good card. I like it. Um, On to the extra deck. We've got. <laughs> one sec. 
Uh, Three totally awesome. Uh, shout out DZ if he's pretty cool. Just uh, probably like the best boss monster out of all the decks I play. Like Guru doesn't really even have a boss monster. This this card is an Omni Gate. It can reoccur your resources and it can provide resources from the deck. So like uh, my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh monster hands down. Uh, yeah. Fuck! <laughs> We're playing two uh, two other just generic uh, rank twos. This one um, actually is super good this format because you can just provide uh, interruptions in your hand, so you can dodge around lightning storm and evenly, and just like being able to search your paleos and continue comboing is nice. This outs really weird problem cards like uh, Denko. You can get around with this. Uh, I've had to out a Jinzo today from a Monarch player. That was weird, but I I, mean, I did it. Um, Overall, very good utility cards. I like them both. I don't think I'm going to cut them. Never have. I don't think I will. Uh, Link ones. Uh, for the scapegoat, we've got these two. Mandatory. Uh, fun fact. You can make this. If you need to like do some co-link shenanigans, you can make this off of a paleo. Um, a lot of people don't know that. We got for the Link twos, two coral, because this card is just amazing. Uh, in general, this can just like make you be able to utilize swaps effect three to four times per turn. Super good. Uh, probably the best Marine set support for it. Uh, we got one Mistar, one Cerberus, one Phoenix, and that's it for the Link 2s. Uh, just utility cards again, also for just making Boral Sword, uh, or Boral Load I suppose. Uh, off the scapegoat and kind of help you out situations, weird ones. Uh, you just do this if you want to like buff up your your uh, dupe frog that you spec off the toad during the standby because with the coral fet, with the, the coral combo, you can either end on just like coral and then a toad or you can end Mistar Boy and a toad. And sometimes you want to go into the Mistar Boy to have that little bit of extra booty on them. For the Link 3s, we just play uh, the 1, the Unicorn. Unicorn just incredible. Again, more cool linking shenanigans, pretty cool. Uh, spinning cards is nice, and just ditching stuff into the grave also is pretty nice. Uh, then for Link Wars, we play Boral Load and a Boral Sword. Both these can out like a lot of problem cards that you run into. Um, I had to out a BLS Link uh, two games in a row today, actually, and this helped me with one of them. And this guy just helps you, like, win, honestly. This deck's damage output isn't anything super impressive. Uh, the max you'll get in with an average board is like 44, so having access to this card is really nice. And for the side, we are on uh, the third judgment, because uh, just go knowing that I'm going to go first and probably walk into an evenly or a sliding storm, I like to have three of this. Uh, we've got Uno, Dos, Trace, Border. Uh, some of the combo decks are just too good for your one-for-one -one trade traps like the Paleos to uh, slow them down enough. So this being a card, I really quite enjoy it because you can just summon this, know that they're going to have a hard time breaking through unless they have Infirm, and uh, build your Toad off your actual Paleo traps because you don't really need the monster effects to make the Toad if you're using the traps. Uh, very good card. Can just catch you wins. We got... Triple Droll, uh, I didn't feel the need to main this, I think in the side it's just fine. Pretty good against um, a lot of combo decks, uh, Spiral it's good against, Danger Lunalite it's good against. Uh, even Salad I, I can sometimes work around with this card, uh, but mainly it's in there for those. Also very very good against Guru, uh, just drawing after the city or drawing after the extravagance can like cause them to end their turn which is really nice. Um, triple Gamma Seal. Plus, for going second, breaking spiral boards with the evenly. Um, can also out stuff like BLS Link and Max. Pretty good. Uh, it's also a water you can pitch off swap to make Toad, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, we got Double Lancio, because I still feel it's important to play this because there is quite a few decks that still banish around. Now uh, you got Grand Maju, you got Orcus still running around. And this is also a counter side for evenly if you think your opponent's signing that in. Pretty good. Uh, we got the third duster because you just gotta have three for the back row matchups. And two summon limit because I told you earlier about the whole power trap thing. I don't like maining this, I like siding this because again you can plan on this fairly well, but this is there for like Orcus, this is here for Spiral, for Heroes, any deck that requires more than two summons to do its combo, I'm siding this in if I'm going first. Um, me, I can just set up my Paleos from the Grave on my opponent's turn, so it'll just summon twice there, and then on my turn I can just continue to combo from there. Um, 
You're also able to pop these quite often with just your own spec spell and trap removal. So I, I do quite like it in the side, not in the main though. And that's actually it for that profile. All right, cool. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, uh, well, thank you, Larson, for the deck profile. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Um, if you guys have any questions about Larson's deck, uh, leave it down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you, Larson, for the deck profile. And uh, we'll see you guys next video. Also, 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 also. Before he ends the video, uh, I just want to say. Shut the fuck up. You don't got <laughs> trades. <laughs> uh, Comment down below if you want me to have like my own section on the channel, like once per week I can upload a video or something. Cause like I, I, I've heard from a few people that we should do that, but I just want to like know before I start making videos, cause that's time out of my day, it's time out of your day. Uh, just just leave it down below. Also, uh, yeah, just have a good day.